do you guys not see that we like like it, you guys really consume this and don't think about how you oppress other people? I don't know. Just man. so okay. Here, oh my god, I can't believe Aston, you are a content god. You are literally getting me to something. Hold on, let me make sure I'm not bullshitting you because I could be bullshitting you. I'd be high as fuck sometimes. I mean, I'd be high as fuck. Okay, so no, I already covered it, but it was one of the things that was in my um it was one of the things that was in my list of things to do from season two that I still haven't done. Hey, thanks to fucking Aston Mac. We just finished the Matrix Resurrections. How you missed the point. Let's fucking go. We did our ASMR Sunday morning drive in the rain earlier today. We did a set on Corza. Oh my God. We did our roll lockdown jail arc two. Yo, it's almost over. It's almost over over oh my god we're almost caught up to all old projects at least you know from a while back yo let's go okay anyway i'm self-flagellating um <clears throat> what i what i always feel confused about is this objective need for black people to not be the hero. Do you get what I mean? Because I'm about to finish reading the rest of this. And it's like, as I'm thinking about it, broad cyberpunk encompasses high-tech, low-life. <laughs> If Star Trek, the next generation, is an optimistic look at people becoming better people once they have access to better tech in a post-scarcity world, broad cyberpunk assumes that shitty people will continue to be shitty just with high-tech tools. Pause, pin, pin. That's why, by the way, cyberpunk is so relatable, because it takes the zeitgeist that we feel today, that even though our world is empirically getting better we we can live longer we have technology we i can i can access information about anything ever always at any time but that doesn't fix our problems right 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 do you okay so you get what you yeah yeah exactly the black person can't be the hero because the system <laughs> don't have a place for that like, that's not a thing that it was built to have. And you might say, well, what fucking system? Our social system. The empathy, like, you see President Biden's approval rating go skyrocketing after he forgave student loans. Okay, so just do more good shit. Do more good shit and you become a fascist. Like, you have a pathway to be stronger than any piece of anything that's ever... You have FDR vibes right now. Nobody touching you. You you like Razor Ramon. You might be welcome in the hood. You come fix some shit for us. And yeah. it took them all of America's history to get here, except for the one guy. And the other side's been cutting out what that one guy did the whole other time. Why can't black people be the hero? Oh, but you, you're skipping over Obama. Like, really, bro? Like, that was the whole the whole campaign have Yo, hope like obama did a heel face turn faster than like the any big show event. bro like Yo. or a hero well, what is it face heel turn sorry yeah, no, faster yeah. than anyone i've ever seen okay that nigga became the devil like yo just how man and it's like we're supposed to infantilize him we're supposed to, you know, oh, black man became president. How how dare you say people are held down? And it's like, that is exactly it. You're not weaponizing him to say he's something that we should care about. You're saying we gave you one thing. Now shut the fuck up. Why can't the black person be the hero? When you get the black person in the position you want them to, they go heal. They go, and, and it's like, but if Obama did what Joe Biden just did, immediate, 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 there's no way you could diverge from that point. 
We ain't get that though. That's not literal history. So what are we waiting for? A year five hundred and thirty-two for some dude named Soul Glow with the with the spirit of the dragon. We looking for Bruce Leroy in this bitch. Like, where is the hero that not only relates to you? But says, oh, you won't shut up while you're meeting me. I know that's because black kids are not used to meeting their heroes because they're usually too poor to afford, like, to go to a convention or to something where I'm appearing at. So you want to get all your words in because you know you're not going to get another shot at this for a long time. Okay, I know how to specifically cater what I'm going to say to you to let your dream keep living. No! you don't get that you don't get that you get instead the fact that even when we progress you ain't gonna ever win who's in the slums the poor marginalized Scarlett Johansson and like six niggas in the background and them people in the background, they're the first to be like, hey, oh, sweetie, you looking sweet. And then she pull out the boom, 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 blast them all. LOL, thugs. See what I mean? That shit hurt. That shit just hurt. Bro, and, and what's, fun, what's funny to me is like, well, I in this going back to the whole crit- critique on, on, on cyberpunk and, and how... The, what what it shows us and what I I felt this way. Okay, okay, sorry. Let me get these words out clearly. Um, I felt this because as I famously tell people, I grew up in Florida, bro. I grew up marching with the KKK. I was about as tokenized as tokenized can be. I had a very white centric view. I was one of those black guys that thought he was white and it took me a long time to realize I they will never treat me like I'm white. Um and so but what comes with that? What comes with areas that are this conservative that are this thick in in the in the propaganda is this belief in American exceptionalism that has an underlying principle that if you if you really listen to American exceptionalism you'll hear it it's that as time goes on, things will get better. And as things get as as like tech, like because something is improving means all things are improving because I can point to the fact that we now live in houses that can withstand hurricanes. People somehow will tend trend towards freedom. And I remember my biggest my biggest like come to Jesus moment with that was really thinking about at the time I thought very negatively of China. I still think very negatively of China and I still think it's rather authoritarian, but I, I know back then I was like, you, I was geeked up on the America sauce, right? Like right. China was the worst place. And it really took me, it was really seeing that people actually preferred China seeing that people in China prefer the way that China is going, not saying that they're right, not saying that there aren't a ton of marginalized people in China, but that, that, that freedom wasn't that, that trending towards freedom and democracy wasn't inevitable. That liberation wasn't inevitable. That, that, that the oppressive class won't just choose, like wake up one day and be like, you know what, today I'm going to be moral and I'm going to release all those groups that I'm oppressing. That doesn't happen. And it made me realize that, yo, freedom and liberation is something we have to fight for. And cyberpunk very much embodies that kind of spirit. Um, shout out again to Saka Sonata. Yo, I, yo, you know I'm already on that solar punk jam. All right. Like, okay, yo, so I gotta do this to you. Famous. I hate, I hate to do this to you because you was on, you was on such a good roll. But um, the name is Socks On at 3 a.m. Socks On it, dude. I'm f- listen, okay. <laughs> But I see no, no, no. I'm not even gonna pretend that I, I can't figure college, out how you I got there. College to do maths, not read good. <laughs> yeah, I definitely and, can see where you got that. Um, <laughs> I just couldn't let you have yeah, that number. Soxonata. I don't know where my brain was. At. <laughs> no, I can see Soxonata or out of that. I can see Soxonata out of that. Cause like, yo, I've literally looked at people's names when they chat, and it's like I think it's something very simple. And it turns out that it's just not like, yeah, no, that's fair. You're, it's a fair, 
but um i completely agree uh, okay so i was we were looking at an article here that said africa should stop blaming history for its economic problems this is obama right oh, yeah, that's Coon Bama right there. That's your, that's your cousin. He your cousin. <laughs> this is a he, brave. He ain't related to me. This is a brave and constructive piece of advice from Obama. However, it will never be fully embraced since people have a psychological need to blame others for their disadvantages and inadequacies, and will confabulate to that end by however con- convoluted a chain of logic as is necessary. I completely agree with his point of view. Africans should take responsibility for the continent's development. More responsible and visionary leadership is needed. Nubian Queen 24. No one wants to address the issue. Uh, oh, this was a good comment. Um, a billion, 900, uh, not 192 billion drained from Africa every year by rest of the world. It is important that the people of the world realize that the Western powers do not have the best interests of the African population in mind. Heart and action, they are only there to serve themselves. That was fire. Okay. Okay. Colonialism cle- uh, left a clearly insufficient system of nation states with completely imagined borders, but this is not the biggest cause of Africa's problems. It instead is neo colonialism. Oh, okay, okay, they were spitting. They were spitting. All right, them comments turned great. To continue, um, addiction, violent crime, surveillance, labor exploitation, all done, all just done better with better tech. It's techno pessimism. The knowledge that even something as cute as a robot dog would be horribly misused and speculating on all the creative ways it would be misused. An essential element of broad cyberpunk is looking at cutting edge tech and tech law through the lens of impending abuse. Notable authors would be uh, Daniel Suarez and Anna, Anna Lee Newitz for having really good grasp of this is how this can be abused and what people might do about that. This sort of cyberpunk is less visual but more thought provoking. Tech Ninja is far cooler than Pharma Pirate as a visual but less realistic given I actually know pharma pirates and I don't know any katana wielding tech ninjas. But narrow cyberpunk aficionados are basically uninterested in current or imminent real life manifestations of cyberpunk and demand the future of yesterday, which largely cater to the preferences of young white American cishet men, e.g. the LGBT people, LGBT people. I'm so used to adding Q to the end of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that's such a weird break, but like I, I was trying to figure out why that didn't sound right to me. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's the Q. Um, the LGBT people who are at the cutting edge of present day biohacking don't exist in their preferred cyberpunk universe, but ubiquitous access to firearms <laughs> inexplicably does. Cyberpunk edge runners basically just kit bashes this pre 2000 cyberpunk aesthetic for a fun, action filled, very visual romp through a non speculative future. There are no particularly new design vitamins or ideas, but the classics are well represented with flair. The usual anime tropes are sprinkled throughout. Fat male centric character characters exist, fat women do not, although making the women either hot or jacked and hot is at least an entertaining visual. Full frontal nudity for leading women, not leading men. Our protagonist is a clueless adolescent. <laughs> no way! I haven't watched wait, it again. Wait, 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 wait! On that last point, on that last point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. You could have stopped again. me at any point. I was waiting for you, honestly. I love, I love to, you know, I love to upset all of y'all, but like, can we sit down and can we have like the honest conversation that nobody's having? Why the fuck are hard dicks not ever on TV or in anything? You cannot find a hard dick nowhere unless it's in porn. No hard dicks. But we can have women do like whatever, right? Like a, a like a girl could be coochie out, you know, bush everywhere. Like whatever you want at every angle. Matter of fact, the other day, I swear to God, I saw a butthole in Game of Thrones. But like a hard dick? Nah, bro. We can't be doing that. Like, isn't that weird? Yeah, hella weird. <laughs> I ain't trying to see a hard dig. Like, I'm not trying to see a hard dig. I'm just, well, maybe. You know what? I won't turn it down. See how I react to it. So uh, I was typing to Cagnadian, um, isn't cyberpunk supposed to be inherently dystopian and should show that one can't tech oneself out of systemic problems given that they were barely addressive at all, let alone never overcome in the first place. And original cyberpunk didn't do that. Original cyberpunk used to level the playing field for all people, and then it became a class issue between just literally those who wanted to embrace the future and those who wanted to stay original. 
it got perversed into a class war because of books. I, I'm just going to throw out this one one because this one one. I'm going to throw out this one because everybody thinks about it the same way. The Hunger Games, which we brought up earlier. The perverse idea that even with tech, those who do not, there will be unequal access to the future was not an original thought of that. It was how do those people create a a dis uh, um a break within the culture? It was what rises from when everybody's equal. It's what counterculture becomes, you know. Oh, we're the punk rock anarchists. We're not getting your fucking. We're not getting your fuck. We're not getting your fucking augments. You guys are fucking weird, bro. What's gonna happen in seventy years when that shit breaks on you and you can barely breathe? Oh, man, don't put them in any water. How do you take a shower, bro? It was that type of stuff. We then got into the idea that, like, kids would play death games. Because the real-life dystopia became too overpowering for people to not mention. Which is why Netflix... Sorry, I'm going to end right here. Um, which is why Netflix specifically started pushing that movie... Uh, or that TV series containment when the pandemic started. Literally because your brain will take what you're reading and or take what you're watching and apply that as opposed to analyze it. And that's a big problem we have with media literacy because we've taught a lot of kids that it's best to just read the, par- read the paragraph, find the main sentence, find the uh, conclusion, and sparse through the details as fast as possible. We don't get time to interject our feelings on it. Aston, as you do respond, I'm gonna go pee real quick. Okay. I yeah, fine. I, I, I like I like this uh I, I like the trust that he gives me. I wanna comment on that. I do think that I do understand where people are coming from thinking that Cyberpunk always had this um this this sort of class analysis built on but if you actually look at like again neuromancer and like do androids dream of electric sheep like those critiques were the material cr- critiques that came out uh came out about class it, 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 it how, how do i say that? how do i say this right they were more questions of what is it mean to be human you know and what is it? What is the? What is with the rapid pace of increasing technology? What does what does it even mean to um, be human anymore? Like, do androids dream of electric sheep? Um, which, by the way, that's Blade Runner. Just so you know, that that's Blade Runner. Everybody, everybody with me. If you watch Blade Runner, that's an adaptation of Android Stream of Electric Sheep. It doesn't have all the same messages, and but it is. But but basically, it's the idea that in the future there are uh, there. There's a the, the title works on several levels. First, it's the idea. I know the one that you pick up when you read it is like, oh, androids. Do they have dreams? Like that's kind of it, but not really. What it really is about is that in the future there are no animals, and empathy is something that they use to distinguish between people and um, and robots. And because people have empathy, they do things to show off that they have empathy. That's why they buy a. Ele- um, but because all of the animals are gone. Only the incredibly rich can afford real animals. Most people get electric animals. And then it's that's why the main character's whole thing is he wants to get his wife a real goat, I think. I forget what the animal was. It doesn't matter. But the title is a play on is a play on that. As is it, yes, it's about do androids have dreams, but it's all it's more about what do androids desire. Do androids dream, not dream as in I fall asleep and I dream of something like, no, do they aspire to have electric sheep? Um, From that necessary analysis of what does it mean to be human and what what is how do these technologies affect us and uh, affect us on a kind of if you want to say Asimovian science fiction is very macro, cyberpunk was very micro and focused on individuals. From that, from that kind of like, are we human? What does it mean to be human with with um, evolving and changing technology? You start to ask yourself questions like, okay, well, like if only rich people can afford like real animals, 
what if we live in a world where we can biohack people and like the upgrades you get are disproportionate and, and that's where the class analysis comes from that's where inevitably like i said give it like 50 50 60 years cyberpunk will have feminism and and black liberation themes in it it's an evolving genre it's a very new genre and when the genres are young they tend to only have the per uh, initially they don't have a lot of marginalized perspectives End of. Um, are you back yet? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I thought you were also looking at my screen. Sorry, I was letting you talk. Oh, you was carrying me. I would have, I'm sorry. I would have said something if you was just pulling it to make sure that I wasn't, um, that I was here, uh, that I was here so I could keep it going. I'm so sorry. That's my bad. No, no, you're good. Remember, your stream's mad behind. My, yeah, no, it's behind for everybody, I'm sure. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at 14.5 drop frames. It seems to have stabilized at this point, but yo. 14.5%. The fuck, bro? What is going on? And, you know, it's crazy because when I record the segment, like, there's no issue, no lag, no nothing. So it's like people on YouTube really getting the better. <laughs> the What the fuck was that? Oh, my God. Hold on. Give me a second. Citizen. Man shot in East Harlem. Well, you are everything all right? That's what I'm trying to see. Like, where is it? Is it your people's? Nah, that's on. Is that on Second Avenue? Where is that at? Oh shit, that's right on. That's right up the block. That's at the Seven Eleven. Oh nah. Oh nah. Yeah, wait. Yeah, that's at the Seven Eleven. That's crazy, and it's only seven forty six. Wow. But by the way, we got Endless in the in the chat. Shout out to Endless. Oh, Endless, if you're still listening, I want to know: Are you uh, are you reading the uh, the Judgment Day crossover stuff in Marvel right now? Or are you out of it? Also, do, um, do me a favor. You can continue to just... Uh, I'm going to continue the thread because it's. Uh, I think we were uh, right here. Um, I'm just going to let my dad know because, you know, he cares about that stuff. Yo, no, no, I feel it. Go take care of your people's time. Um, yeah. <laughs> you guys ever wanted to know the Black Experience? The Black Experience is literally running an internet podcast show doing media analysis on cyberpunk just to have to pause because somebody was shot down the street from you and you got to make sure it's not one of yours. Real talk. If you ever if you ever wanted to have an idea of what it's like and why we walk around the way that we do. Um Uh, you're kind of, I'm kind of following the Judgment Day shits, but not closely. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, well, the thing is, is, you know, I always rock with the X-Men. Like, the X-Men are always, like, my favorite uh, thing in Marvel. So, the fact that I thought when, um, what's his name, Hickman finished his little run on the X-Men, the X-Men were going to be booty for a while. So, I, I'm, I'm digging Hello. this. Going. Yo. <laughs> we'll just pull up. <laughs> Yo, pull up, my G. Yo, I was yeah. just saying, I was just seeing if you were, yo, I am going to say, though, in this new, in the Judgment Day shit, they do storm good, bro. They do storm. I heard, like, I heard it was pretty decent. Like, I heard it was fire, but um, yeah. I just, I haven't been into, I feel like the last comic book run I really paid close attention to that I really was into was um, um, Uncanny X-Men, <clears throat> yeah. right after the shitty, like, uh, X-Men run. Where they yeah. had the X Men as like a Nate Gray is like a cult leader or whatever, and that shit like was like so mid it kind of made it, it took me out of comic books a little bit. So I, I'm telling I'm telling you like because we all know and I know part of it was for the license and stuff. That's why they had to do that oh, shit. Yeah. Like nobody likes the Inhumans. The Inhumans were the fucking. The Inhumans word. were always trash. Oh my god! Like literally like below like below bottom tier. But um but. Ever since they picked up, like, it really starts off with this X of Swords and Ten of Swords. Um, I was going to say, because I, I read House of X and Powers of X. I'm also going to push back on you a little bit, because how, my nigga, 
How are you talking about how there's not there's no black people in Cyberpunk yet, and there's a whole ass Lucas Bishop, my nigga? Come on now. Shit. I yo. First of all, first of all, if you were following closely, I said there's always there's one of us. There'll be true, one. True, 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 true. And like, like, of course, we we always have to be a certain light. You know what I mean? Like Bishop Lucas Bishop is literally like it's like what just like the irony. Yeah, well, he's also a cop. Like, if you really yeah. read into his fucking like his his story in the future, he's low key like a future like mutant cop. It's like it's like one of two things. It's like either we're the future cop, like we're a dread kind of clone, kind of like like, like we're a right. future cop, or or we're the magical Negro that like is enlightened and knows the answers or the way. Like we're running Zion Facts. or some shit. You know what I mean? Facts. The magical Negro vibes are always strong. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's never like, yo, here's just like homie on the street. Like you're never gonna see like you know Riley from Boondocks and like a cyberpunk. That's not how they do black people, you know. Yeah, and it's which is sad because we all know that like yo, if y'all have the technology they have in cyberpunk, we would have the most lit culture. Are you fucking kidding me? Black, like the the black the hoods in cyberpunk would be fucking like the parties would be fire bro low-key like there's so much of that shit like <clears throat> there's so much of that shit that actually like already this is what i'll be like, talking about bro there. when you let one nigga in your house just all of a sudden mad <laughs> niggas just be showing up in there yeah i keep telling you lock your doors <laughs> yeah. Not a good neighborhood. yeah thanks oh my god what's up boy what's up paradigm how you feeling um, I was, I've been in a little bit of a rage. I've been discussing it. Um, just, you know, as I'm growing in this space, like I, I you've been in the streams before, so you know what I've been arguing about. It's like, to me, it's just, you know, you feel like you be, you be, you be on a, on a time level. You be on the, you be on a time level with like, or a time limit, I should say, with everything that you got to achieve. And like, now I'm a year older. I'm going to be 30 next year. <clears throat> yeah. It's like, I can't believe that I denied myself the ability to have talent really because I would look at like my white friends that could achieve this shit so much quicker and be like, right. I must be fucking up. Like, if right. we want to get into it, like. And that's Shit. why I've been like, <laughs> that's why you've seen me like telling people, um, I'll play your fucking game. I'll play your little game. Cause it's like, maybe the idea is that I, maybe I pitched myself too hard and like, maybe they don't realize how much value they could be to somebody who can play that game better. Cause like they're I used to like such lowbrow shit, you know what I mean? Like yeah, you get because I was gonna say yeah, go I ahead. feel like the like mad of our shit's undervalued just because like what you said the the shit that people are used to getting like the 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 product has not been on point for the longest, <laughs> so people are used to getting garbage. You know what I mean? Right, and it's like I or I should say, and it becomes this internal struggle where. Where, matter of fact, I can make this a lot simpler because Aston's here, so I don't need to. <laughs> to I, y'all are, I should say, both of y'all are here, so I don't need to go through the <laughs> subterfuge shit. It's like you could watch a ton of those. You're still at one viewer, zero viewers here, so I don't improve your stream. And like that shit won't matter to you because nobody that, that looks like, matters. like nobody that looks like you is explaining to you the reason why you're probably failing is because like you are reanalyzing yourself and trying to adapt to sounding like a white guy on the internet. Right. What's up guys? My well, intro is literally what's up guys. Like, come on guys. So, so there's that, but also the fact that the, the number one thing that they usually tell you to do is just like straight up snake other people's viewers. So yeah. like join people's communities with the sole intent of being a prominent community, like community member so that people from that community will pay attention to you too. Like yep. that's like the number one thing they tell you to do. And because we're us, there we we are the community. Like we're the ones building this shit for us by us. You know what I mean? Like real Fubu vibes from the ground up. <laughs> as, 
there it didn't it's like that drake meme like look around you we made this this didn't exist before we were <laughs> well, well i'll say i'll say it like i like i said it before and i'll say it again and i'll probably say it tomorrow and i'll said it yesterday and i'll say this forever the problem is fucking capitalism they want me to be a goddamn capitalist to be successful i'm sorry i'm not going to build my shit that way nah well, bro i, mean, I don't gotta, there's, i don't there's gotta that- I was going to say, there's, there's that, but also the side thing. Like, I would love to do just bars, like daily streams of just bars, like black yeah. history, fucking music, everything. But I got to go to work. I got to punch the clock. True. Well, again, so you're saying the problem is capitalism. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but we were talking. So, so Endless, I don't know if you jumped in, but we were talking about cyberpunk. And one of the things that's interesting is like uh, on this topic that we're talking about now is like, I was pointing out how when they appropriate our culture or like, or even when they, they are <laughs> a director is making a movie and they're putting in like real messages and stuff in there. And it's so interesting that I feel like cyberpunk is really guilty of the, the, the white power fantasy where they do this thing where the whole piece will be about liberation. Right. Mm-hmm. But like, they'll somehow interpret that as only liberation from themselves. Like they'll never think, yo, oh, yeah. Like I, I like I'm part of this oppressive system that this guy just destroyed. Maybe I should consider like not oppressing people. They always want to take the liberation for me, but not for thee. And I, it's so fucking yeah. tiresome. It's it's not always intentional, but yeah. For Ooh, sure. that's crazy. He said that. Yeah, he said the thing. We said that. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said it wasn't interesting. Yeah. It could be straight up like, yeah, I fucking I grew up in uh, Appleton, fucking Wisconsin. I have not seen a black person my entire fucking life. My parents never talked about but the shit that they their friends had to go through and all that shit. So I just that experience experience is just foreign to me. Uh, I know the hood exists and there's like Z <laughs> and like some basketball players and shit. And that's that's black people to me. So, well, well yeah. what it what it kind of comes down to what I was saying, too, though, is it's it's kind of deeper sometimes too because it's like you these are the people that will have arguments against other people's autonomy i use the red pill people as the example right just taking the matrix and just turning it into something perverse and it for me it's like 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 you said i get it they don't have the they don't have experience with black people so it's hard for them to see the bigger picture or empathize or 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 trans people in the in the situation with the matrix so they take what they want from it and it's wild it's wild that transphobes love the matrix you know what yeah, i mean right it's wild it's just that a racist weird, loves real experience racists and bootlickers love rage against the machine it's like did you you know what the lyrics are about right <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck it's like how, how did we how did we get how did we get here i don't know but that's that's me that and cyberpunk yeah because <laughs> <damn it. laughs> yo because they i mean you can buy che guevara t-shirts like that's true capitalism will find a way to commodify even anti-capitalism that's how insidious this shit is true what do you think squid games is about yo get out of my head oh man i ran over here to say that i, I ran bl- over here to say that I can't believe that, like, okay, they didn't want to make Squid Games, and they finally did, and it makes all this money, and it blows up everywhere, and the first thing, like, nobody thought, maybe we shouldn't make game shows out of this. Maybe, like, this source material is a little too on the nose. Like, they literally, Squid Games is literally a movie or a show about you guys doing this thing. Right. Oh, and Socks on at 3 a.m. Not just grunge, like crust punk, like literally a a genre of music that is based entirely on not just anarchist politics, but anarchist lifestyle, like bands that literally have fucking homeless members with spiky jackets and shit like the motherfuckers you saw in the beginning of the return of the living dead. Right. Real ass people that now it's it's a fashion statement. You'll see fucking Khloe Kardashian wearing a spiky jacket with a disrupt patch on the back of it now because she's fucking Travis Barker. Like it's it's capitalism is a fucking uh, Hydra. (laughs) (laughs) And you know what you got to do with Hydras? You got to get up on the Hydras back. (laughs) Everyone's got fucking heads. You got to cut them off at the same time. That's the only way to get it right. Yeah. Man it said Demon Slayer, if you got more than multiple heads, we're gonna have to cut both of these off. 
That's why um um I, I I don't know if you were in we we were passing a video around I think FD talked about it I think Wine and Chill talked about it there've been a couple of groups where it's been a recent theme where we're talking about like yo black capitalism is still capitalism bros like like and it's not going to liberate us like real talk right. like yeah and it's yeah, not I, yeah and it's not me trying to throw shade earn your bag bro <laughs> everybody deserves to to if you figure out a way out of this and you can live. I, I, I don't hate you because I see how fucked up it is down here. Yeah, and I, this, I, that's that's the same thing I used to say about Hassan. Like, motherfuckers like the pocket watch people. And it's like, if you get a bag and you can put your whole family up and set yourself yourself up in a nice spot where you can produce quality work that's going to benefit not just you, but, like, all the people who consume your content because you can work in an environment that's conducive to you having maximum creative flow, then fuck yeah, do that shit. Like... People yeah. get real fucked up about that. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like, like when we like, talk about perverse incentives of capitalism, it isn't. Lo- I was bringing up like it isn't lost on us that um, the 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 dudes that were getting screwed over by their record labels um, in the '90s ended up making their own record labels just as exploitive to black people. Oh yeah, as 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 they were exploited, and and that's what we mean by it's not necessarily. And those are people that literally sang and created content and art out of the struggle. So it. T- tells you that it's not that's why i don't do this whole good and evil shit bro it's like it's a system it's perverse it fucks with you i gets it right still gonna talk that shit though (laughs) (laughs) okay so y'all kept reading the thread i heard (laughs) apparently we were right at the end so I'm going to read it now to see what we were talking about. Our leading character is, of course, the chosen one and the leading character through, by, uh, through an accident of birth, <laughs> not by virtue of greater effort. Again, story wise, the whole thing is kit bashed and then expertly animated. This isn't about making you think. This is about a rich visual. I found the English language voice actors did such a good job. It really added to the story for me. Giancarlo Esposito was a particularly good choice. And overall, the various accents made the whole interaction between the characters far more diverse and interesting. Definitely don't feel obliged to watch it in Japanese for more authenticity or anything. Overall, it's well worth a watch if you aren't looking for much depth and don't find well-worn, well-worn anime tropes unbearable. To clarify, my position is this isn't made for people like me, and that's okay. Things that aren't made for me are allowed to exist, and I can still enjoy them. So long as the people who made this, who this is made for, agree to the same when something is not made for people like me and not them. Yo, you saw me tweet that the the show isn't that good, but it's literally all I've got to cling to, right? Which show is this? <laughs> Cyberpunk on Netflix, Edge Runner. Oh, uh, I, I, I was yeah, because I'm t- talking about how we don't do cyberpunk shit enough. Like we we really don't. I miss this aesthetic, you know? Yeah, yeah. I've always been into. That's always been my vibe. Uh, life changing. I always say life changing movies for me were fucking. Uh, watching Giant Mnemonic and then watching Hackers and then when Yo. I peeped and then when I peeped Terminator Two when I watched Jack fu- or uh, John uh, John Connor crack that fucking ATM open with a little PDA oh yeah that was mm. it bro bro I know you're cyberpunk as fuck like anytime <laughs> I see a picture of you I'm like yo this nigga like just throw the black <laughs> trench coat on and put some shade <laughs> on uh, like I would believe that you were like a Decker right there man you got the fucking look man. <laughs> Fucking, I was I in would. the techware for a hot minute, but a lot of that shit's a fucking scam. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I got to make the, the Nike, make red, right? The, yeah, but Nike Tech Lab shit is is swaggy. I'm all front like that shit. That's the only techware that I'll actually fuck with. There's like a two hundred dollar pair of boots that I, I kind of fuck with right now. That I really want, but I'm trying to be yep. responsible. There's this shoe, and I think it's called Smart. Some I forget the name of this shoe, but it's uh, it hasn't come out yet. I'm I'm waiting for it, but it's got the uh, screens in your shoes instead of light oh, up. Shit. Yeah, bro, it looks so fire. I need to check That's up wild. on that. Yeah, fucking Katarana had me. Uh, it was putting a battery in my bag, trying to get me to fucking design some generators and shit because i got a homie that's trying to give me all these magnets from his fucking laboratory i found it it's shift way mm-hmm. let me get their website we're here 
This is their presentation video. I don't know if they've come through. I know that this was their prototype, so I don't think they've actually come through with this yet, but I posted it up in um chat paradigm. Shit, it's boy. these shoes, like I was saying, these shoes, you literally, on um, your phone will have an 